So we are at a huge churchyard sale. It's about an hour away from our house, and sadly there was an accident on the road. We, you know, got us here about 20 minutes late. Place is popping with a ton of people. We're gonna still see what we can find a flip online for a profit. Nutcracker Village Gardener. Oh, she's cute. Wonder how much she is. Two dollars, four dollars, six. Uh, how about three dollars for that one? Nine dollars. Okay. What is that? Pretty nice. I don't think it's old though. Yeah, you're 2000. Yeah, I'll take that. There's a Mickey sweatshirt. I'll take that. I have no idea how much this sweatshirt is. Pants, polo shirts with polo shorts. Anything good outside? Yeah, we'll go outside. We'll go look outside. Jeans, six bucks. I'll go out there. Hoodies, jackets, heavy. It's like a thing of snakes. <laughs> Disney princesses? No? It's actually from Disney. Is it really? Yeah, look at the inside. I don't know if it's messed up or not. salt and pepper shakers for $5.99 back in the day. I think we should get these. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Ooh. They're cool looking. They're called angel cheeks. Angel cheeks, really? <laughs> Three pieces for $2. Well, I think I hear 
pretty cool. Broken in here. Here's like a Jaeger. Only a dollar. Collectible Atlas. Oh yeah, we've sold those before. Really? Yeah. Is it like sign or something? Hmm. Oh. How much is finding Nemo? Five bucks. Yeah. It's in there, but. Look, you want it? You don't want it? I do. You do want it? For five bucks? The skater or the featuring metal skates. I can do it. It's just everybody will jump. We got our hands completely full. I think we're next. So I'm going to go ahead and do a kind of a voiceover real quick in here because this is about the biggest yard sale I think I've ever seen in a church. So their fellowship hall was completely full and then each room in the fellowship hall had other items like books and games. Uh, this one right here is the jewelry and collectible section and there was just a whole bunch. Of, there was a holiday section we just left. So some really, really cool ways they did this. It was the first time we've ever been up to here. Again, it's about an hour away from our house and uh, we'll definitely be back because it was a cool yard sale. 25 bucks for this bag, guy. $20. I'm sure you big boy. You know, it's definitely Jim Shore. I gotta see how much this guy is. So many people. Look like a Jim Shore. Twenty dollars. <laughs> well worth it. That's amazing. That's a Jim Shore. Twenty bucks. I'm gonna spend all my money in this room because I'm buying these too. That's cool. I'm gonna hug him. You wanna you put it under here until you're ready, or you gonna carry it? I'm gonna carry it. I don't want nobody else to have him. <laughs> oh, the gnome? Yeah. So it's kind of an electrical thing in there, but it's, it's cut. Oh, okay. But I think you can redo it. Yeah, it's only 20. It's yeah. Not, it's not bad. Because I looked at it and I said, I might be able to fix it. So. Yeah, well, that's what I figured because the little box is in there. Because I said, oh, oh, oh. my husband, I said, oh, we'll, I already promised. Oh, no. <laughs> Can't leave him behind for. Wedgwood is. Yeah, Wedgwood's pretty cool. It's, it's kind of coming out. Is that a horn? That's straight up a horn. I would think so. There's a citizen clock back there. Hey, those bears are nice. So a lot of the items that you're seeing, including that cute little bear right there, will be sold on our Whatnot Live auctions. We've been doing them every Thursday. There's a link down below so if you want to be involved. And actually, if you sign up with one of our links, you get like a, a little bit off or something. So check that out, our Whatnot auctions, every Thursday, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Polished, polished stone bull. Look at that thing. Hmm. <laughs> That's unusual. That's unusual. That's a big boy. 
Look at these things. Oh, they're wild. They're made in England or Italy. Definitely buy those. I'm they're sure. seven dollars. Yeah, I'm gonna buy that for seven bucks. Look at the gecko. There's mining pin of gold in there. Forty dollars. It's cuter. Hmm. There's a Linux. Fifty dollars. There's a what? Yeah, I don't Linux. Yeah. I don't want to do the best. I won't do the best. Oh, is that why you're going crazy over here? How are you? Fine. They said he was twenty. Yeah, that's All a good right. price. Too. Oh yeah, can't beat that. Forty five. I don't have a way to wrap that. That's all right. I'll keep him close. <laughs> Look at that guy. He's cool. He's supposed to have something inside of him. He's got the box, and maybe I can fix him. He's cool. I he's supposed to have some sort of like um, electric, and it's been cut. Uh, but I have the box in here. Yeah. So all I have to do is probably do a little wiring, and probably be able to fix him up. So I did more research on this, and this is actually a solar-powered Jim Shore gnome that would go outside. It is missing the side piece where that little thing would sit, so it does have like a hole in the side of it. But I, uh, some one's actually listed for like two hundred dollars. I don't think I'll get two hundred dollars for it, but I think I might be able to get like a hundred dollars for it. So really cool Jim Shore little gnome. Hopefully, I can fix the solar panel right there that I have in my hands just by wiring it back up. All right. So even with getting here late, we still got a lot of stuff. There was a ton of people in there so far my favorite is going to be the gnome uh he's supposed to have an electrical piece as i said earlier but i think we can probably go ahead and fix him i think that i think that's going to be pretty good and then we'll go over the stuff later on because i know it was probably super hectic in there but it's called secure mr gnome and then there's community arts out right down the street well, do you know somebody that... The way it's supposed to be, or... Yeah, it kind of comes, yeah, I... Yeah, it could be inside or out. Yeah. We're gonna find out over this. I'm down around the corner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know you were selling your heart. I wouldn't know what you put it out here. I would have bought that. <laughs> sure. Yeah. I gave up playing it a couple of years ago. <laughs> I like the bear. Yeah. Isn't he cute? And this guy right here. Look at the basset hound. Yeah. Yeah, you haven't been in my place. You ought to see all the basset hounds. My, uh, How much is your... Oh, I want, it, uh, I want oh, at least $10 for both of them. $10 for both? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, cool. Yeah. What is that guy? Oh, He's he cool. Really, have any really? He looks good. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Alright, thank you so much. I'm off. Why is this guy? Look how he's cut off. Is this guy's cut off? Yeah, he's playing with like a candle under him or something. Hurry up, it's time to go. Yeah, that's what is this? Santa Claus. Well, there's more, it's I guess. No, it's no, 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 no,
Better hold your egg. They're together. So they're both Noah's Ark. Really? So it's like the... Super cool. We'll glue an egg back together and be good to go. Back from the yard sale, one of the craziest yard sales, just so, so many people. And it's very hard to film when there's that many people just because people are like bumping into you and hitting the camera and hitting the book bag that you're wearing. So it was a lot of people. Uh, we got there late, like I said, but we still got some really good stuff. And this one right here sold within two hours. So one of the fastest selling things we've had in a while. It usually takes, you know, you usually don't sell things immediately. And if we didn't undersell it, they usually go between the prices that we sold. So not bad. And one of the biggest surprises is this right here. She goes for 40 bucks. Just a nutcracker from, I think, like, Nutcracker Village. Made in 2003. The Gardener. There's only two listed and one sold around 40 bucks. The bows, always good. If you can find a bows. Uh, Kayla picked this up for only four dollars. Looks like it's going to go without the remote probably for about a hundred. Any type of Bose Bluetooth. So if you look at a Bose and you see that it's a Bluetooth like this one, uh, go ahead and pick it up if it's for a good amount of money. Um, like, you know, four, five, ten bucks. I would go ahead and pay ten bucks on that one. The Jim Shore, I've sold Jim Shore's expensive. Uh, I, we sold a Fox for two hundred and two dollars one time. Really thought the gnome was going to go for probably two hundred. Not going to go for two hundred. Uh, he is missing a piece right here, and he's actually meant to go outside. Like uh, he is a solar powered thing, but the thing is, is the solar power. Your solar power don't work, bud. So we're going to have to see if I can fix it. If I can't fix it, it probably is only worth about fifty bucks. So I paid twenty four. It's only worth fifty. We'll see if we can get plus shipping. Thing is, is he is heavy because he's made not to blow over. So it's a very heavy gnome. I mean, it is what it is. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to definitely double my money, but I thought I was going to be able to like ten times my money, but not there. And this right here is the dial caliber from Starrett, and. It sold within two hours. Uh, I'm not gonna go ahead and unwrap it. We usually always wrap our stuff in plastic wrap. It's good moisture barrier, keeps dust off of it when it's being stored and everything else. I know somebody was like questioning that and we uh, we use a lot of it and it really does work well. Uh, we picked it up for $25. It sold in two hours for 90. I actually listed it for 100 and then put the whole store on sale for 10% off and sold for 90 bucks. After the calculations, eBay's actually changed some stuff on the calculations you can see exactly very easily what you uh what you're gonna earn from the sale usually it was kind of like convoluted to see that you had to click a whole bunch of buttons now once you click it it tells you exactly how much you earn so we earned 85 dollars after fees on that so after the 25 dollars cost of goods that's an easy 60 bucks in two hours the cool thing is is that we actually you know we earned 85 dollars on this sale and we spent 85 dollars actually on everything there so that was really really cool so this got our money back and everything else will be profit so not a bad day up there it was super busy super crowded wish i got there earlier because there was definitely a lot of uh, other resellers there i kind of got to see what they had they did really well which is awesome but uh just one of those things but i still think we did pretty good the gnome is still my favorite my favorite pick he might go outside i can't believe kayla doesn't want the gnome to go outside He's got a lot going on there. And also the cuckoo clock in the back, if you saw that, we might actually ride up there tomorrow if we have enough time. Uh, it is far away. The cuckoo clock, I did a Google lens search when I was watching the video. It could go for like 500 to 600 bucks. There, I think they were asking 175 for it. So you could have tripled your money there. Thing is, does it work is the big thing on that one. I picked up cuckoo clocks before. They didn't work and they don't sell much if they don't work. Like they have to work. You gotta test them out. You gotta wind them up. You gotta do all that stuff. So kind of a lot of money to take a risk there kind of like the gnome also remember if you need some poly bags gyro packet well we have an affiliate link down below fourth quarter is here it's among us after uh halloween gets through here i'm telling you right now sales should go up and if you need some good cheap poly bags 10 percent off your order i do appreciate everybody watch remember not subscribe subscribe comment below like the video you know i will always get you on the next one